guys, it's Monique from Vegan Living 24-7. How's it going? So I decided to film another mukbang. It's been a while since I filmed one and the last time I filmed one, I, as some of you guys may already know, I accidentally deleted the footage before I had finished um, uploading the video like from my iMovie file to the to my actual to my cell phone so I could anyways long story short I deleted it so hopefully I learned from my mistakes so I feel like combining my uh, two video ideas I've been wanting to do for a while so last year as some of you might know I did a May favorites uh, video and I thought initially I was like oh yeah I'll just do that like once a month and then we can get to know each other and that sort of thing but then yeah I realized that it was actually a lot more work than I had thought it was gonna be to do that video for some reason and so I thought oh I'll just do it next year like I'll do it in May but then May came around and I started like writing down like my favorites and stuff like that but I never got around to doing it so in June I was like oh I'll do it then and then July came then August now it's September so I was like why not just make it a summer favorites video and then I'm gonna combine it with a mukbang and to, just to make things a little bit more interesting so that way we can chit chat and that sort of thing and it's not just me talking I can also be like talking about food and you can be looking at food so those of you that are wondering what the hell is a mukbang well basically I'm pretty sure I'm saying this right it's like the word mukbang anyways uh, basically what it is is a Korean word for eating show so if you want I would really highly recommend I would highly recommend you going and getting something to eat and sitting and chilling with me so that it's kind of like we're sitting across from each other and just having like a conversation so I thought I, I actually didn't even like plan it this way but I decided to get freshy and it's kind of funny because it happens to be my favorite fast food restaurant so it's kind of fitting for this video topic um, so this bowl I'm gonna butcher the name because I actually don't know how to say it. Um, I call it the Oksaka bowl. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it normally comes with like some sort of yogurt dressing, some spicy things. So you just ask for it with O. And then there's different ones, different dressings that are vegan. You can actually ask them for the ingredient list or you can ask them um, which things are vegan. And they actually have like this little card that has uh, some sort of allergens and that sort of thing. And yeah, so this one's got like the cilantro lime vinaigrette, which actually works really well with the Oksaka bowl. Uh, the reason why this is my favorite fast food restaurant is because it's actually a little bit healthier than, um, it's actually a lot healthier than most fast food restaurants and very like filling and nutritious and I just love it. And I love avocado, I love flop falafel so you can add falafel so that's what I did you can add your own protein type they have falafel or tofu um please let me know in the comments below if the United States has freshy I'm kind of curious freshy is spelt with two i two eyes by the way um so yeah I was trying to be like a little bit more environmentally friendly so I didn't get any cutlery I didn't get any like pop to go or anything like that I usually actually don't do that anyways I prefer to drink my water yes bitches cheers So this cup um, I've had since 2007, grad 2007, can you see that? So my name is actually at the top, this is this like the list of all the people I've graduated with, is it at the top? Um, I don't go by, I didn't go by Johnston in school, I went by Marie. that's the third one, Monique Marie. my middle name is LeVay, I think it sounds better than like my legal last name, Monique LeVay Marie. Ooh, dropping things. <laughs> um, I think it sounds better than Monique Lovey Johnston. Uh, they also have a couple different types of chips. These are so good. So it's like sriracha and ketchup. So they call it sriracha. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Cause it's like a little bit sweet and a little bit spicy and I just love it. It's so good. And they're very crunchy. So there's also another flavor of chips there too. I don't really remember the flavor at the moment. 
and I feel like I tried it. Oh, I think it's like pink Himalayan sea salt. I don't remember if I tried it or not. I think I might have and I was like, meh. So this is like refried beans and inside of this there's also like some brown rice. You can change it up and get quinoa instead if you'd prefer. And you can also add kale as a base. <laughs> oh, inhaling like part of the spices from the chip. Uh, there's already kale in this one though, which is the reason why I really like this bowl. So the teriyaki bowl, that one is already by default already vegan, like you don't have to make any changes. So if you're someone that just wants to keep things simple and you don't want to have to like make a big fuss or whatever, and be like, can you change this and this? Not that it's really that hard to make a couple changes with this one, but that one's already by default vegan. Um, and for the first little while I was always ordering things without these like little chip things. I forget what they call these, wonton, crispy wonton pieces, because I wasn't really sure. I'm like, wouldn't those have egg in them? Um, but the teriyaki bowl already has these and um, when I got them to look through like the ingredients and stuff like that, they didn't actually have the crispy wontons so as something that said what all the ingredients are in it. But that bowl, the teriyaki bowl is listed as being vegan for the full bowl. So I would say, I would say that they are vegan. And then there's a lime that comes with it. Oh yeah, makes me so happy. Mm. All right. Mm. Mm. I haven't been eating very healthy today. I've been like, <laughs> I don't know. What did I even eat today? I don't even remember what I had for breakfast. Oh. <laughs> I had leftover sweet potatoes. <laughs> that were mashed up. Um, and then I made myself some french fries that have skins on them for a little bit later. And then I've been snacking on this chocolate bar. Quite a bit of it. Got it from, from Walmart. Ooh. So it says fruit and nuts, but it's literally just raisins. When you read the ingredients, that's all that's the fruit is just raisins. But if they had called it raisins and nuts, nobody would buy it. Like, or it, it would be bought by a lot less people. So yeah, I was thinking of making myself some sort of stir fry thing, but I'm like, no, I want to edit a video. And then I'm like, why don't I just like, Go and get this and then I can make my mukbang video too as well. So yeah, I just thought this would be a lot easier. Okay, so for favorites, um, I'm gonna start with veg. I'm gonna use the word veg instead of vegan. Veg restaurants and non-veg restaurants. <laughs> In my last um, favorites video, I accidentally said vegan when I was referring to like a vegan vegetarian restaurant just because Cafe Mosaics is a restaurant that I don't know I just whenever I go to a place that's just uh vegetarian vegan like I always think in my head that it's vegan because I can get anything like any dish can be made vegan there usually so ah oh, yes so for me I made myself a list. All right. So May, um, at my favorite, let's start with non-veg. My favorite meal that I had was sushi from Sumo Sumo Restaurant Bar and Grill. It's in Sherwood Park, yes, which is basically the outer area of Edmonton. Mmm. Their sushi's so good there. Um, I haven't really tried all the sushis from different places in Edmonton, but... I always get their dragon roll and you have to ask the yams. I have a video on this, so maybe I'll just link that up above. But basically you have to ask for the yams without the being deep fried. They just get steamed and then you have to just have the sauce with, um, uh, without the sauce, the mango sauce that goes on top because they use mayo. Yeah, super good. And they're like so much bigger. They're literally like this, this big. Um, they're so much bigger than like the non-vegan um, dragon rolls. And then for June, the non-veg restaurant that I went to, oh yes, Subway. I love the falafel subs. Mm. Can you tell I love falafel? Wait, <laughs> I have falafel from everywhere. 
if, I feel like falafel is literally my favorite food. Like how Cammy from Supreme Banana, her favorite thing is ketchup. I feel like her ketchup to her is falafel to me, you know? I just love falafel so much. And for those that don't know, falafel is basically just chickpeas mixed with um, spices. And then deep fried. I think sometimes they bake them, but I don't know. Mmm, it is so good. So yeah, I've never got the tofu from, what was this place called? Freshy. I always just get the falafel. Hmm, I'm not like a huge fan of tofu, honestly. Unless it's like in a faux meat, because then it's got all these other flavors, and then usually there's like wheat gluten or something else added with it to like make it a different texture. I mean, it's okay, like I don't hate tofu, but it's just not my favorite thing. I want another chip. Ah. You are good. Ooh, it's like a witchy chip. Wish I may, wish I might. Ah. And then, <clears throat> for July, I think sriracha is like too spicy for me. Whew. <laughs> All right. So then for July, it, surprise, surprise, my favorite um, vegan item from a non-veg restaurant was this. The Oaksica bowl. I was getting it so often in that month. I feel like that might even have been the month where, um, when you bring back like a coupon thing that they were giving out that you could get your second bowl was like half off or something like that it's pretty cool so I was going there lots and getting stuff for me and Jeff so it was amazing mm, look there's even beets in this this is a big piece of beet holy look at this I don't know if they like forgot to chop it <laughs> Ooh. Mm. and then I didn't write down anything for August. I'm trying to think. Non-veg restaurants that I went. Hmm. I don't think we went to one. I don't really know. Um. Like I went to BC with my family. And we stopped at Subway at one point and got the falafel sub. Uh. But other than that, I don't really think that I went to a non-veg restaurant woot woot <laughs> much prefer going to a vegan one anyway so you can support a vegan establishment and um all that jazz but uh yeah i mean it's exciting that like non-vegan restaurants are coming out with so many vegan options right now like because then it's more likely that a uh, non-vegan's gonna be keep going to say boston pizza or earls or wherever and try out the vegan option if it's there rather than them going to a fully vegan restaurant excuse me mm. Mm -mm -mm. so he, who here watches lots of mukbang are they called mukbang ers <laughs> i don't really know um who here watches lots of them because i find that I think that on the true, like, hardcore gr people that do them, they burp a lot and they burp really loud and everything and I just, I don't know if I feel comfortable with doing that. I always say excuse me after a burp and I like to cover my mouth a lot when I'm chewing with my mouth full but I find that, I think, well, I like stuff coming out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm like spitting. Yeah, I think that a lot of times like they just like, I don't know, they just burp a lot and all that stuff and apparently people like it kind of weirds me out but that's cool you do you maybe I'm too Canadian for this like I'm too polite <laughs> mm. ah 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 I felt like a bird <laughs> mm. 
Okay, and then from veg restaurants. So May was like my favorite Edmonton restaurant. Cafe Mosaic. Um, so as I was saying, they are vegan and vegetarian there, but you can literally make anything vegan there. So my favorite thing there is the tuna wraps. It's spelled T-O-O-N-A, because it's tuna. It doesn't taste or even have the same texture of tuna at all. Um, but it's really tasty. Oh my god. They have like the cilantro, I think it's cilantro? Uh, lime, maybe it's just lime avocado dressing that you can put on top and it comes with a lime. And then I always get it in the leaf wraps. Uh, they also have like these little wonton wraps. These are just tiny ass little things. Um, I've never gotten it with that. But just more recently, like sometime in the summer, they told me that they switched to a different wrap and it's no longer vegan. So, boo! That sucks. But that's okay because I don't, I don't ever order it. But, I don't know. That sucks. Anyways. They're really upfront and they tell it, I'm pretty sure they just tell everyone, like when you go to order it, they'll be like, um, just so you know it's not vegan. Because as soon as I had ordered it, uh, I hadn't even like said what kind of wrap I wanted. They just told me, by the way, like the thingamajig's not vegan. And I was like, oh, that's okay. I always get it with the leaf. Because the leaf is like so huge and then you can just wrap it all around in it. And it's like, I mean, it's kind of a messy dish a little bit, like when you add the dressing to it. But it's so good. Mm. And then I don't really know what my June and July favorites were at a veg restaurant because I didn't write those down. But August, I had a couple. So I went to Calgary to meet up with my cousin to drive down to BC. And um, we carpooled together. And yeah, so I went to Savage. Did I say that right this time? Yes, savage. Okay, I used to call it savage because that's what it's like spelt like. But anyways, um, but for those of you, most of you probably already know this, but Cheap Lazy Vegan and her mom co-own a cafe inside of Heaven's Fitness in Calgary. So I've been there a few times now, and I did an interview video with her. I'll link up above and also in the description box below. Uh, so yeah, I got there. I think it's called like the No Fish filet sandwich it was like so interesting um it tasted very fishy <coughs> excuse me it tasted very fishy fish burps <laughs> that's what just happened there no i'm just kidding um and also they had like somehow made some sort of skin thing like on both sides of it you know how like fish have like when you eat real fish it's got like the dark skin thing and then it's got like some crumbly skin thingamajiggy on the bottom a lot of times excuse me I think it's when you bread fish uh so yeah they had done that I thought that was really interesting I feel like maybe they made the skin out of um some sort of sea vegetable I don't know so that was really tasty and it came like in a bagel thingamajiggy sandwich with avocado and so it was so creamy it was so delicious and then when I got back to Calgary um, after coming back from BC, I went there again for breakfast. I waited like 40 minutes in the parking lot because my cousin worked really early and Savage doesn't open until 8 a.m. <laughs> so yeah, I waited in the parking lot and I think I edited a video or like looked at social media or something like that while I waited. And then I went in there and then for breakfast, I had their japchae, which is glass noodles and um, dumplings. So it's not really a breakfast meal at all, but I just really wanted to try something different and I'd already tried their dumplings before just as a side because I love dumplings and yeah like the Japshay noodles were so good and like the veg veggies in it were yummy and then this was really neat but they actually had um like I don't know how they do it like Je I think Jeff said he saw them doing it once and they like cut all around like the tofu block and then like cut it in these really tiny slivers like I thought maybe they used the vegetable peeler or potato peeler or something like that and just like peeled it but yeah they had these strands of tofu in it to make it look like noodles it was super cool it was with with the um the glass noodles and I remember t uh, Rose's mom was there and I was like asking her I'm like were those like tofu pieces and she's like yeah she's like for extra protein and I was like I thought that was cute that she said that mm. 
gotta make sure that her girl's getting all the protein, you know. <laughs> Ooh, and then the other favorite meal that I had at a vegan restaurant was here in Edmonton. Sweet Pea Cafe and Playhouse just opened up last month. Okay, I'm sorry, my nose, ugh. Stop being itchy, stop thinking about me, you guys. <laughs> you know the saying, like, when your nose is itchy, it's because someone's thinking about you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so Sweet Pea Cafe and Playhouse, they just opened up last month, and I, I finally got to go. So the Playhouse isn't quite open yet, it's totally separate from the building, which, but it's such a cool idea, like, I think it's so cool, like, so you can bring your kid there and then they can play and then you can go into the cafe and get some food and all that. Um, very unique idea. And it's actually Red Cross from some sort of kid thing. I thought it was a school, but I don't really know if it's a school. Anyways, I got their curry wrap. So good. Oh my god, so good. Like, it tastes like their curry flavorings were so yummy. I put curry to shame. I have a curry video up on YouTube, and I'm just like, oh god. <laughs> I probably don't really know what true curry is. I just, I, I feel like when I add garam masala to it, it's curry. <laughs> no, it's not. Mm. We also got their like spinach um, thingamajig, which was also yummy, but I think I preferred the curry wrap even more. So that took a really long time of me just talking about restaurants. So I apologize for those of you that don't live in Edmonton because you're like, well, I've never been to any of those restaurants. I don't know what you're talking about, girl. That's okay. <laughs> so something else that might be a little bit more relatable to more people is Netflix. I like to watch TV shows more so than movies. Anyone else? The reason why is I just love to watch like follow character development like even when I used to read books a lot I just don't have time for books anymore <laughs> makes me sad but when I used to read books I would prefer book series as well so early May I was watching a show called love it's like so good I really recommend people to check that one out so funny and cute and yeah I think there's only two seasons I don't think they're coming out with anymore I could be wrong about that like a lot of sarcastic humor and stuff like that in it and then after I finished watching that because I think I started it in April after I finished watching that I watched The Rain which is like a little bit more sci-fi like um really like that one and then in June and July I watched Wentworth which is basically a British version of Orange is the New Black. So I've had a lot of people say that they tried watching it and they're like, nah, it just seems too much like Orange is the New Black. But honestly, like I can't watch Orange is the New Black anymore. Maybe I'll try and get into it again, but I find Piper's character so annoying. I literally want to go in there and like just punch her face or just like shake her and be like, Arr, shut up, stop being, ow. <laughs> stop being so annoying. Like, I don't know, she's just so whiny. I get like really annoyed with TV characters when they become too whiny all the time. So like I used to watch, what is that show? Grey's Anatomy, but then the main girl, she's just like, so whiny, Ugh. I can't handle that. Mmm, <laughs> this is good. I feel like I'm gonna have some leftovers cause normally with mukbangs, they have like so much more food than this and they like eat so much of it or like all of it and I'm just like, whoa, that's a lot of food. <laughs> I'd rather, I'd prefer personally to be able to have more meals in the days to come. That's how I like to eat my food. I have a, I feel like I have a small belly, like in the sense that I get full quite easily. I always hear about people that go to restaurants and then they complain saying, oh, they never give enough, like a big enough portion. You have to like get like so much food to get full or something like that. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> I always have to have take leftovers so I'm like literally I'm actually full. I don't even know if I ate half of this yet. But I also usually snack throughout the day to keep me sustained. So like when I'm when I'm feeling hungry I just like take a handful of something and snack on it. I don't know. 
I'm a grazer, all right. I was meant to be vegan, yes. <laughs> I don't really believe in the, that it's better to eat three large meals a day. Although, I have heard that when you eat lots of times through the day, it's causing more stress on the body. So your body's constantly having to digest things instead of being able to relax or something like that. I might be like missing some sort of important detail here with that, but yeah. I'm just noticing that like right there is our, uh, I was trying to clean up the background just so it looked nice so it wasn't so distracting. But that's our Christmas um, thing with like all our wrapping paper. <laughs> and right here there's a little snowman guy, you can't see him, but yeah. We have things that are like from every single season that are out in the open. I'm hoping eventually we'll start to get rid of things. We're still in the middle of the process of trying to minimalize a little bit more. Um, but I'm hoping to get rid of a lot of things that are in storage so that we can put like our Christmas guys, even though this is so cute. Oh, don't fall camera. Hold on. My grandma made him. Ain't he cute? You plug him in and he lights up. I haven't actually like lit them up too much. Excuse me. Sorry, cat. Um, so yeah, you plug him in, he lights up. But I haven't plugged him in too much because usually when you, you do, I guess, his nose comes off because it gets hot, right? And so the glue just... He, he, and so my family members have to keep re-gluing him on. His, their nose on. Um... Yeah, my grandma's so talented. I was so happy that she made me that because, yeah, she's made lots of things for family members before. She makes these really nice Santas. Oh my god, they're so detailed and so beautiful. But I never got one. My feelings are hurt. No, it's okay. <laughs> Honestly, like, it takes a long time and then there's a lot of family members. She's got, like, so many brothers and sisters. I don't know if she's made those things for them or not, but yeah. So, I'm just happy that I got something from her. I love him. So, Honestly, I could look at him all year long because I love snowmen, but like my Halloween thingies that are over there, I don't really want to look at that all year round. Hmm. Oh yeah, I'm getting full. I don't really remember what we're talking about. I think we're talking about TV shows. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Wentworth. So anyways, I find it, honestly, you just need to get, I think halfway through the first season, something really major happens. I feel like it's maybe it's even only four or five six episodes in something really major happens that like kind of gives the show a purpose gives the main character a purpose and oh my god it's so intense like I bawled like for that full episode and the next episode I just cried so much I love shows or movies that can make me feel so many different emotions like when I'm laughing and I'm crying and then I'm angry <laughs> like when you can like make me feel like so much passion for certain things for characters and I get really attached to the characters. That's what I love about, that's what I would say is really good story writing and that's also what I really liked about books that I read. Um, like the Twilight movies are like eh, but the books were really good. Like I really got into the characters for that and I loved Harry Potter and again I feel like the books are way better than the movies. Um, but I think that's just because, for I'm sorry, I'm sure there's a lot of you that are like, what? Because you're probably huge Harry Potter movie fans. But I just find that child acting, especially if it's like one of their first things that they've acted in, it's just kind of awkward. After a while you start to get used to it and that sort of thing, but yeah. Anyways, books are much better. And I am for July as well. I started watching this really cute cartoon show. I feel like, I don't know if there's one season or two seasons out for it. It's called Final Space. Has anyone else watched it? Oh my god, so excited. The reason why I'm smiling so much is because I got a special surprise here. Just a few days ago I got him, which is perfect timing because I've been going through something personal in my personal life right now that's a little bit emotional and sad. And so he's so soft, you guys. soft like the softest thing I've ever I'm just I'm afraid that I'm gonna get stuff on mm -hmm. mm. hold up mm -hmm. 
He's so cute. <laughs> and he just feels so good to hug. So his name is Mooncake. <laughs> um, and he's like destroys universes. <laughs> he got his like laser. Does he have laser beams that come from his eyes? Oh my god, I'm not a true fan. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he's super cute. He doesn't really talk much except to say chuck 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 me chuck me. Those kind of things, right? And he loves hugging faces. <laughs> I'm so weird. Anyways, uh, someday I would love to do, be like a voice actor for someone like Mooncake or like some, so, some sort of cartoon. Oh, he's so soft. So yeah, he just feels so good right here. I really love hugs and stuff. And, mm, he makes me feel happy. <sighs> So tasty. I love water. Water is like my favorite liquid. Does anyone else love water? I'm such a fish. Goop goop, fishy fish, goop goop. Uh, let's see what else. So August, woo. August, um, the two shows that I watched a lot of was Iron Fist. That's a really good show. I think I talked about that in one of the last videos that I edited and put up on here. Um, it's like a sci-fi type show as well. I love sci-fi shows. If you have some sci-fi shows you think that I haven't like talked about yet that you think I should watch that are on Netflix, please tell me. <laughs> I get so sad when I like finish a sci-fi show because I'm like, I want to find another one. Um, so yeah, I was watching Outlanders for a little while. There's one little itty bitty part about it that makes it a bit sci-fi like, but I stopped watching it because it kind of dragged out. It's like this hopeless romance kind of thing and then also another part that bugged me is that there's a lot of scenes that are trigger warning almost rape so um the girl often gets sexually assaulted and then someone comes and saves the day and stops it from happening but or she gets away from it but yeah i don't know Anyways. Well, that's one thing i really don't like watching on shows so but yeah it was just also the storyline was just too slow I just couldn't get into it anymore so I stopped watching it and Jeff's been watching Bob's Burgers a lot which is this cartoon that's like super funny um so I've been watching it off and on with him like I haven't been watching every single episode but it's like so random and so funny and sometimes super inappropriate like I don't know if I would like suggest watching that with your kids if they're really young like I don't know maybe if they're 12 and older or something like that I don't know parental what is it called? Parental something advised? Aggression? Parental discretion advised? Yeah. I'm really full. Mm. Ooh, I haven't eaten any of the corn yet. Ah. Okay. Put the choop choop monster away. Mm, choop choop. I feel like you should be on the show. You're the star of the show. How do we do this? I don't really know where you can go. Just move these over. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my god. Uh, I think there's another season coming of that. There better be because he's so effing cute. And that sh that show is also like super random and funny. <laughs> yeah, Bob's Burgers. Sometimes there's... It's like this family that owns like this little restaurant. And um, a burger and fry joint. And uh, I don't know. They're a strange family. <laughs> Yeah, I, I do recommend checking that one out. It's pretty funny. My favorite is, I think her name is Louise. It's a little girl with like the pink bunny ears because she's got like a really funny sense of humor and then she says what's on her mind. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I watched an episode where like the oldest daughter <laughs> was like, she loves horses and she's got an imaginary horse friend and then she went and did this horse show thing. And then the horse that she was with, that she was getting trained on, was like, uh, just like really mean and everything. And then her imaginary horse friend came to her during, like right when she was supposed to go and perform. So instead of getting on like an actual horse, she got on her imaginary horse and was like, go up, go up, go up, go up, all around. And she's doing, she's like, all right, gonna go over this big bump. 
and there's like no bump there and she's boom and then like the second time she goes over one she like space plants and she's like I'm okay that was a little too high I'm just continuing this on it was it was cute so if you're into random funny stuff like that I recommend that show I think I'm gonna save this falafel for later so I'll be very sad if I have to eat this tomorrow and there's no falafel I hardly ate any kale what kind of vegan am I ah Num, num, num. So that, I think that's all I have to say about TV shows. And then so like the next thing is life experiences. So my favorite life experiences from May. I got to model for the Groovy Vegan. They're this vegan clothing company here in Edmonton that are, that I really love their designs. And um, it's very original because like a lot of like vegan clothing lines, they just all have like the same thing. Like it says the same words. And I feel like you could just go and like copy that image from somewhere and like print it for yourself. But I think that their designs are very unique and the fabric's very soft. And then they also have a percentage going to farm, which is my favorite. Well, it's like the only animal sanctuary I've been to. It's the one that I go and volunteer at. And then I don't know if they're husband and wife or just boyfriend and girlfriend, but they're really nice people. Jesse and Ashley. I hope I got your names right. <laughs> Sorry if I didn't, I feel bad. So yeah, that was really exciting because I haven't modeled in a really long time. Um, I used to model, it was more modeling, it was for fun. So I was trying to like build up my portfolio essentially so that I could go and like model for companies, like clothing companies. Like I ne But then after a while, like I realized that that probably wasn't gonna happen for me. So I started doing like more fun photo shoots that were themed. So I have like a couple where I had paint like all over me and everything like that and just posing and like one of them was in a studio and one of them was like in the woods. Was, both of those were so fun. I really love messy kind of things like that. Kind of hard to like get the paint out especially out of your hair but you know it was fun. Uh, so anyways yeah it was really cool to be able to combine that with my passion for veganism. So I would love to like model for more vegan companies just putting that out there. I did film the process but I didn't actually like edit it yet. I don't know maybe I'll put some clip. I feel like I'm going to be putting up clippets throughout this of things that I'm talking about. Um, and then maybe eventually I'll get around to like editing these things. I think I'm going to try and like edit things a little bit more quickly and try not to like excuse my try not to be so picky. Oh, like the video I just edited and put up right before I started filming this, um, I did it so quickly, like, I was quite happy with myself. Usually I like watch the thing like so many times, but it's usually for videos that are really long. Sometimes, say if I do a what I eat in a week video, I have like 40 minutes of footage, which this video, funny enough, is actually 39 minutes and 28 seconds right now. Um, so, but mukbangs are usually pretty long. And I won't feel super bad if some of you guys don't make it this far. It's okay. Okay. Mm. You did. If you did, all right. Hmm. What should you but Right, Mooncake is the bomb.com. Yeah. And then I'll know that you made it this far. I was going to say you should write chookity or chook chook, but, um... I think a lot of people that are Mooncake fans would write that anyways as soon as they saw him. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, let's speed through the rest of this. So June, my favorite thing with Jig Bad Day. Ooh, yes, I went to Calgary Veg Fest. And this year they had a uh, drinking area, which I don't really drink anymore. But they had like foam noodles and little balls and stuff like that. And it was so fun. I had like so much fun doing that. Um, and again, yeah, I filmed. When I went there to Edgefest. Eventually that video will go up. <laughs> and then July, I went camping twice. Um, eventually need to film and or edit those videos too. So first time I went to with Jeff's parents and him it was for Canada Day. And then the next time it was just us. Woo! That was really fun. Um, went to Michelon. I was calling it McQuillan because that's how it's spelt and that's how I thought it was pronounced but I've been corrected since then. <laughs> and in August my favorite thing was spending time with family so as I was saying I went down to K 
Calgary and carpool with my cousin and her boyfriend. We went to BC because my grandpa Vic died four years ago and got cremated. And all, in all this time, his ashes have been like um, staying at different family members' homes. And then, yeah, so then we spread his ashes. And I actually thought by a law that it was illegal to spread ashes in a body of water in Canada or just in general anywhere, but like apparently it's not. I went and Googled it and other family members had Googled it and stuff too. And it says you have to gain, before spreading in public anywhere, you have to gain permission from like the locals or like the establishment area or whatever. And yeah, I guess bodies of water is okay. So yeah, we did it in like a creek um, in Headley. Cause that's where he, he was like, living for so long before he passed. Uh, yeah, it was really, really good to get together with um, a whole bunch of my family because I hadn't been spending a lot of time with family. And that's something I want to correct. I want to like spend more time with family. And then the next things aren't really things that are broken down with months. But one quote that I came across that I really, really like uh, is your purpose in life is to find your purpose and give your whole heart and soul to it. That's from Buddha. I really love a lot of things that Buddhism has to say for quotes and stuff. When I'm reading it again, I don't feel like it's as good of a quote as I did when I first wrote it down. I guess just because it has the word purpose twice. Your purpose is to find your purpose. <laughs> Sounds kind of corny. <laughs> My favorite chocolate item, as I've said before, is the Silk Dark Almond Chocolate Milk. It's so good, so creamy, so delicious. I do recommend getting it. I get it from like Superstore in their um, natural foods section, but I feel like there's probably other stores that... I'm gonna guess that maybe Walmart has it. Eh, I don't really know though for sure. Uh, my favorite salad dressing, as I've said before as well, is the Asian sesame dressing from President's Choice. And again, I get that from Real Canadian Superstore because I'm Canadian and that's where I like to shop. <laughs> my favorite snack is chocolate chips and almonds, or at least it was in the summertime. I would eat that quite often. It reminded me, oh, I didn't mean to say almonds. It was with raisins. It reminded me of this chocolate bar that I was talking about earlier got the chocolate and raisins and so I don't really shop at Walmart that often. Superstore is actually closer to us and I prefer shopping at Superstore because they have a larger section for produce whereas Walmart is pretty like meh. They don't have like a lot of like Asian vegetables and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah I, sh I shop there more often. And then my very last favorite thingamajig is my favorite faux meat thingamajig is um the brand Eves, they make these really good veggie nuggets. Uh, so a lot of people are obsessed with Gardein and yeah, Gardein makes good products, but they're more expensive and you don't get very many in them. Like the Gardein uh, veggie nugget thing makes jigs only have like 11 in them and you have to pay like $5.99, $6.99 or more for them. I'm talking Canadian dollars. And then for Eves, you get like 22 of them for like $4.99. I don't know, something like that. They're so yummy. I just love them so much. So before I went vegan, I liked to eat like a lot of crispy chicken items. Like right, right before I went vegan, I was eating a lot of like salty things. Like I wasn't eating very healthy meat. So <laughs> some may argue that no meat is healthy. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, so I would eat like the bacon, the bacon, <laughs> bacon and like hot dogs and stuff like that. They're just like really salty. And then like, uh, crispy chicken. Yeah. Those were the things I was eating a lot of. I should eat this. Um, so yeah, I really, really, really like veggie nuggets. I love the texture and the crunch. And I love to mix it with mustard and plum sauce together. Yummy. We kind of came across that flavoring because Jeff really likes plum sauce and I love mustard. Mustard is my favorite condiment. So maybe I lied. Maybe, maybe mustard to me is like ketchup is to... Cami, not Flopo. Yeah. Anyways, so 
Um, I decided to try it out with plum sauce one day and then I also had mustard on my plate and then I was like, I wonder what it tastes like together. I mix it together and I'm like, mmm, so good. Highly recommend that. Plum sauce and mustard. So I think that's like all I really have to say for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's like 47 minutes long. I don't really know if I'm going to be editing too much of it now. I think I just want to keep my life simple. Ugh. If there's any like restaurants you want me to go check out um, to do a mukbang at, please let me know and I will most likely so long as it's in Edmonton which is the capital city of Alberta so probably has it unless it's like some American like I can't go to Chipotle for example I've never been to a Chipotle that's only something the Americans have or who knows maybe maybe it's in other countries too I, don't know. I haven't traveled a lot uh yeah I was going to originally make this mukbang at KFC apparently you can get a veggie chicken sandwich thingamajig I'm like that's cool but yeah story time a little bit so I went to one um that's close by here and I asked them for it and they're like the guy, the guy was a bit younger and he looks over at the older lady and he was like oh do we have that and she's like no we don't have that anymore and he's like oh sorry yeah we don't have that anymore and so I was like oh okay is it just this location and like are there other ones that have it and they're like well I think this one that's on 97th street you just keep going down that way <sighs> they pretty sure they have it so I went back out to my car to try to find out which one they were t like which location they were talking about and I tried to call them because I'm like I don't really want to drive there and find out that they don't have it and nobody picked up the phone just kept ringing 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 so I'm like okay I'm just gonna go there <laughs> oh my god so I go there and then I'm like <laughs> it's just like this parking lot that's been caged off um fenced off with one of those cage fence things with nothing in it <laughs> so the reason why I was ringing and ringing I don't know where the F the phone is like why was it still ringing <laughs> there was no KFC there <laughs> so to that um employee if that was done on purpose if you knew that was like not there my hand has something to say to you <laughs> but if it was you legit thought that it was there then okay or maybe there's even another one on 97th street who knows I don't I don't think there is some that's a pretty busy street so maybe maybe there's another one <laughs> yeah I was just like what I was so disappointed so I haven't tried since but I've talked to someone that said that they've been to the KFC that I tried to go to and they go there lots and they get that veggie chicken sandwich thing <laughs> lots and have no issues I might do that for my next mukbang unless other people have other suggestions but I'm kind of curious because I haven't tried it so that will be fun hmm yeah thank you guys so much for watching mm. Mooncake enjoyed being a little bit of a star of the show literally like he's just made of like these really soft polyester fibers it's kind of funny because the company says how do you say that squish mallows like marshmallows so cute um it says so soft cuddle and squeeze me so i don't want to like hug him too much over time because if, whenever you hug and touch soft things too much <laughs> touch soft things they become like not as soft anymore and I don't really want that to happen so and then he'll get all dirty and everything anywho so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you did enjoy it um yeah I'm hoping to be able to edit a bunch of videos and get them all up to make more room on my camera because I am going to Vegas next month well yeah no this month near the end of this month because I'm going to Vegas Veg Fest and then in October I want to try doing Vegtober I was gonna call it Vegtoberfest but not what's it called 
vlog vlogtober that's what it's called excuse me for my other channel i have a second channel <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna be putting different stuff on that channel um i have had a lot of people asking me if i've made any more minimalism like hoarder to minimalism type videos and I have been filming stuff like that. I have been going through the process like I was saying. But I, I feel like I want this channel to be mostly about my vegan lifestyle. And then the other channel is going to be more about uh, like my minimalism and everything else that is about me. Because there's more to me than just veganism. Um, yeah, so I'll link that personal channel down below. And you can go and subscribe to it. And soon, hopefully very soon, I'll be... Because I went through a bunch of my clothing. It's a little bit scary. <laughs> Oh, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm kind of embarrassed and kind of nervous to like edit that video footage. <laughs> also, the lighting's kind of poor. I feel like this lighting's kind of poor too. I'm sorry, I live in a basement. I need to invest in like some lights. Anywho, so yeah, all that channel will have like lots of content on it, on it, and I just need need to put those videos up on there soon so that I have lots of room to be able to do like vlogtober and stuff like that, especially while I'm in Vegas. Yeah. So, I keep calling it vlog, is that what it's called? Yeah, vlogtober, okay. Anywho, I'm gonna stop talking, I'm talking too much, blah, 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 blah. People probably aren't watching anymore. <laughs> do you want to do my thingy? Oh, how do I do it? Peach, peach, I love, oh, thanks so much for watching. He doesn't actually talk, he doesn't say words, he just says, Tuk, 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 tuk. <laughs> Bye guys! Uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe and watch more of my craziness. Bye! Bye!